jumping straight in. Today I'm going to show you how to add a Linux public SSH key to a Windows 2019 server. As you can see, I'm creating a completely new server to demo this from scratch in AWS. Once the server's built, it will appear in the console. So I'll add the private IP address into my Ansible inventory and we'll add the password shortly. We need to let the server finish initializing before we can get the password in AWS. Right, let's set up remote desktop and get that ready. Okay, so now we should be able to get our password. Let me just move it off screen for a second while I get that. Okay, so now I've got the password, which I don't mind you seeing because we're going to destroy this server. We add it into the inventory and we log in, in rem via remote desktop using the same password. Okay, so we're in. So now we need to install OpenSSH server. We can, we can check what's already installed and we can see that the client's there, but the server isn't. So let's install the server now. So I heavily speeded this up because it took about five minutes. Let that run. So once that finishes, we're going to start the SSHD service and we're going to set it to automatically start on reboot. And we're also going to add a firewall rule, a local one to the server for port 22. Then we're going to add a security group and we're going to update the security group and add in port 22 for an inbound rule in the AWS console so that we can get to it from our Linux server. So now the firewall is open and OpenSSH is installed, we can test the connectivity with Telnet. We can see it works. So now we can run a quick Ansible ad hoc command to confirm Ansible can connect using the password. And there it is. That's connecting using the password at this point. So let's open File Explorer on the Windows server and make our way to the program data directory. Now this is a hidden directory. There we go. We're going to go into the SSH directory. This is the playbook that we're going to run. So we're going to copy over our public SSH key to the administrator's home directory. We're going to run some PowerShell commands to set the program data directory to a variable. We're going to move into the program data SSH directory. We're going to copy our public SSH key into the administrator's authorized keys file, which we're going to create in this case. And then we're going to set the correct admin and system permissions. So now let's run Ansible, run our playbook and make the updates that we need. And if we go back to the Windows Server when we run this, we can see that the authorized, the administrator's authorized key file gets created. There it is, and we can see looking back that it's been successfully processed for the permissions. So now we shouldn't need the password again. Let's go into the inventory file and hash it out. So Ansible won't use it in now. And now let's just see if we can log in without a password. Let me just grab the info out of the host file. And I have actually made a typo on administrator, which I'm going to fix in a second. So I've realized you can see the eyes in the wrong place. So now we connect without the password via SSH. Fantastic. So we're onto the server. So now just to prove it, let's do a reboot. So the server comes up fresh and clean, totally new. And then we'll see again if we can connect with the SSH key and no password. Okay, quick telnet just to check if the servers come back up again after the reboot. There it is. Now let's check if SSH still works. It does. You're on. Fantastic. So I hope this is helpful and enjoy. See you in the next video. Bye bye.